Whether your home has a contemporary, traditional, or rustic aesthetic, a touch of black makes a bold visual statement always. So Sharon has some tips for using black as an outdoor accent color. And I love this idea. Uh, you've done it on my house. It looks so good uh, in an exterior, doesn't it, Sharon? It really does. There is nothing like that sophisticated touch of black paint for the inside and for the outside. And I've worked on a lot of homes over the past several years where we, the homeowners wanted to give sort of a modern touch. And for sure, from black and white and all those grays in between, those are really the key colors. So I have this great before and after of a house project trace that we showed last summer. Mm -hmm. And we went to paint all of the windows black, the doors black, and you know, just turned it turned out really nice. And it was just paint, but it just shows you what a transformation that can make. Yeah, paint is magical. And Sharon, we use the same color palette on our house. Still love it, still get compliments. I mean, when cab drivers drop me off, they're like, oh, nice exterior, it makes me so happy. Uh, but for people who are afraid it might be too overwhelming, what are some other ways to work with it and like keep it balanced? Well, Trace, you hit the nail on the head with that word balance, because that's exactly what you need to do. You need to balance those darker areas and finishes and materials with some lighter ones. And I know when we were working on your place, we actually did the underside of the porch ceiling. We kept it in a natural wood tone, and that really added warmth to that to that porch area and also to the overall house because it balanced the darker grays and the black. So that's really key. You want to think about keeping some harmony, sort of that yin and yang with the darker and the lighter elements. Just again, just like we do with the interior design, too much of one thing light or dark in one area can just kind of make it feel off kilter. Yeah, and then it just feels like too harsh a contrast. Listen, I, I want to tell you, Leo's favorite part of that whole makeover is that natural wood ceiling. Like, he loves that uh, on the front porch. So it really is all about harmonizing the colors and the finishes, including the natural materials and the setting. Can it be too much? What do you think about painting the entire house <laughs> in black? Well, you know what, Trace, that's a really good question. And I know I always say that color and design is so subjective, so I don't like to have rules. But I have seen some houses that are painted all black, and sometimes it can just feel a little bit too like the Munster Mansion <laughs> kind of thing. It can be a little bit too, a little overwhelming in, in my opinion. But at the same time, I have also seen it where it looks just magical. I know what, um, up in cottage country in Ontario and certainly in, in um, other lakeside areas, there's a big trend to doing a dark, like whether it's black solid stain or black paint, or even just a really dark hue, whether it's green or blue. And having all the cladding in that color, it really kind of makes the cottage just disappear into, into nature. So that can be quite nice. You can also take that black cladding and give it a little bit more contrast, but I've also seen it with white on the underside of the porch and maybe outlining the, the windows and some other trim in white. So that gives it more of a sleek, contemporary sort of graphic look. And again, although it does tend to give a contemporary spin, especially when it's compared with white or sort of a pale gray, it can also look great on any style of house. It just kind of adds that touch of elegance. Listen, if you are choosing black paint for any part of your exterior, is there anything you should keep in mind? And I know that we talk about the, you know, hundreds and hundreds of white paint colors. <laughs> uh, is it the same for black? Like, do, are there that many? And what do you need to keep in mind? You know what, Trace, that is a really good question because there are tons of, uh, of black shades out there. So it is really important to take a look at them. When you look on the website and you can kind of see a nice array of, of all of them, it looks very subtle, but really when you look at them outside, we always talk about how natural light, you can end up, when you see the undertone, some might yeah. have a more purple undertone, a more warm, a more brown, so you definitely want to be careful when you're choosing it. And you want to think about the opacity. I use a solid stain back here in my backyard, and then I use a semi-transparent on the post. So you can also get a different feel, and it'll look quite different when it's a different opacity. So you want to think about that as well, because you don't want to end up with a purple house on the street <laughs> instead of black. <laughs> You know what? It does something very um, moody and lovely in your backyard because it makes it feel more cozy. And that's why I love dark colors. I know a lot of people are like, oh, I want the white kitchen and the white everything. I love the darkness because it, it, it sort of envelops you and it feels a little bit more cozy. So thank you for that lesson on black. Great tips there, Cher. Awesome. I'm with you, Trace. Thanks.